What is going on guys? So today I'm coming at you with a nice quick simple video of how you can make your engine bay look like this for as little as $20. Now, to start, you're going to want to pick out your paints. And so what I ended up going with, what I usually go with, as I did with this car, um, Walmart sells this two times 2K or whatever, two times paint plus primer in one. Um, these cans usually sell for about $6 a can at Walmart. And usually you can do an entire engine bay with pretty much one to two cans and you don't need primer with this see it's got the primer included that's why i use this it makes it even cheaper so usually one to two cans of this this is pretty much the final result and this is about six months after we did it so it's, it's been six months and uh yeah this is pretty much how it looks after six months so not too bad still looks pretty pretty decent still gets a lot of attention um, with this bay so uh, <clears throat> yeah in case you're wondering how I got this let's roll the footage okay guys so here I'm just going through and showing you um, what the engine bay looked like pretty much when I first it took the engine out and uh, it's got the usual normal uh, grime and dirt in it from an old car like this and uh, basically the first thing you always want to do is try to get the surfaces that you're going to be painting as clean as possible. Alright and here is just a few nice cinematic shots that I got after I had basically pressure washed out the engine bay and I had started taking all the wire harness off the firewall and stuff like that. Which the more you do the better to come out. You don't have to do all of that stuff but I tried to do as much as I could since I don't have the money to be spending as far as um, you know uh, the paint work goes. I just wanted to do as much as I could with the amount of money I had. Now I know a lot of people probably going to roast me about this but I could not find the footage where I scuffed up the bay before painting it. So this is pretty much after about the second coat of paint and as you can see it's laid really really well. It doesn't take a whole lot as far as the engine bay goes just because your engine is going to cover up most of the imperfections anyway. So don't feel like you got to really, really go ham on this. It's, it's an engine bay. It's a project car. Just make it look nice. And um, if you look across the front, I did have a few spots where the paint didn't want to stick, which I ended up when I went back and I really cleaned them good with degreaser and uh, scuffed those again with the scotch bright it actually laid down really good so no problems there but um yeah this is pretty much the uh second coat of base coat or slash whatever the paint in the can this is pretty much the second coat of that and uh this is pretty much what you can have again this is done with the engine outside of the car so if you want to see how it's done inside of the car Make sure you stay tuned because I will be doing a separate video on how to paint an engine bay with the engine in the car. So this is just if you've got the engine out. And make sure when, you, uh, when you're when you painting, just lay down uh, light coats at first. The first coat, make sure it's nice and light. Then the second coat go a little heavier. And the third coat go just a tad bit heavier. Try to avoid getting runs in there, which if you get runs, you can always sand it out. but. Um, I usually don't get runs just because I I'd rather be safer and not not have a run and coat lighter than coat too heavy and have a run. So yeah, just lay it on, man, and uh, in no time you'll have a decent looking engine bay. This is pretty much the finished product, guys. Uh, this was when I had first finished, so uh, as you can see, it was really really still kind of wet, so it had to dry a little bit, but. Um, now I guess we'll resume with the six months later and you see just how wonderful that turned out after six months. And it has been 
you know, uh, driven and stuff. So it's holding up pretty good, in my opinion, for an under $20 paint job. Now, hopefully that helped y'all if you have never done it before. Um, again, I did do this with the engine out of the car. So uh, if you're trying to do it and you're not that tech savvy and don't know how to take your engine out, then I will be having a video coming up soon on how to do it with the engine in the car as we will be doing the track car. So I'll pop this hood and show you what this before looks like. We will be doing the trap car with the engine in the car just to show you that it is a possible uh, option for you if you're not a tech guy like me and don't take engines out um, as often as I do. So uh, yeah, we'll be doing a how to paint your engine bay with the engine in the car with this car. So stay tuned for that. But for now, that's pretty much what I did. If you're doing a swap, maybe your engine blew up or you had to um, maybe change a clutch or something, you just pull the whole setup out. That's pretty much how I went about doing it. Um, and everything together was pretty much $20 or under because the two cans, I got two cans of paint. Um, I used Scotch Bright. I mean, I literally, I didn't even uh, sand this engine bay at all. All I did was use Scotch Bright everywhere. Then I cleaned it really good with um, some degreaser and pretty much it right there so for twenty dollars or under your engine bay can look a lot better have a lot more pop and you get to choose whatever color you want so if that's not a plus i don't know what it is but anyway guys make sure y'all get out there make your car your own and i will catch y'all next one and always like share subscribe and respect all videos peace out